In today's video, I will show you to turn your sketch into a vector graphic using shapes and the pen tool. In addition, I'll show you some cool ways to color your illustration with shadows and highlights. Let's get into it right now. Add the sketch to your canvas and head over to the Layers panel. Double click the icon, rename the layer to Reference and click on the Template option. This dims your layer down to 50% and locks the layer. Create two new layers and name them Outline and Color. For the outline, we will use a black stroke with rounded caps and corners. With an ellipse, let's start outlining the tomato sketch. To create the stem, I will show you a cool trick. With the pen tool, create a straight line. We will then curve this line with the help of the curvature tool. Then, with the line selected, activate the width tool. By clicking and dragging on different parts of the line, we can vary the thicknesses. Try to match it as close as possible to the sketch. Once we are happy with the stroke, go to the Object menu, under Path, and select Outline Stroke. This will turn the stroke into its very own shape. Remove the fill and add a stroke just like the circle we created. With the Pen Tool selected, trace the leaves. If you're new to the Pen Tool, then I suggest you check out my beginner Pen Tool tutorial. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Once we are done creating the leaves, you will notice that all of our lines are overlapping. So to clean these up, select all and activate the Shape Builder tool. With this tool, press and hold Option or Alt key on your keyboard. And by carefully selecting the lines, you will be able to delete them. Before we go ahead and add the base colors, I will show you how to add your shadows and highlight shapes. This will help to ease the process later on. Lock the outline layer and begin working on the color layer. With the pen tool, trace the highlights and shadows that I already determined on my sketch. Make sure to close off the shapes. You can just go over the outline we already created. Following the same steps, I will add all of the shapes for the shadows and highlights. Now let me show you a cool way to add the highlight shape to the tomato. On the outline layer, select the tomato shape and go to the object menu at the top and select Offset Path. We will then activate the Direct Selection tool and delete the anchor points until the line matches the highlight of the sketch. With the pen tool, you can also click on the lines to add anchor points. Once we are done, we will go back to the width tool, click and drag in the middle to make the center part thicker. We will then select this line and go to the object menu at the top and click on outline stroke to create a shape. All right, now that we have the shapes for the highlights and the shadows, we can move forward to adding the base colors. Go to the Layers panel and create a new layer and place it below the color layer. We can name this layer Base Color. Then we can rename the color layer to Shadows and Highlights. Activate the Pen tool with a red color. Fill out the base color by tracing around the outline shapes. We can do the same for the leaves.
Okay, now comes the easy part. Head over to the shadows and highlights layer, select each individual shape and assign a dark color for shadows and a light color for highlights. If you'd like to follow along using the same colors as me, then you can download the Dom Designs color palette from my Etsy shop today. The link will be in the description. Awesome, now let's finalize by adding some cool effects around the tomato. And this is how to take a sketch of a tomato and turn it into a cute cartoon vector illustration graphic. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you and see you in the next video. Cheers everyone!